Hello everyone, I'm Apoorva Pandita and welcome to Live Law. Through today's top headlines, the Supreme Court has overruled its previous judgments in Arup Bhoyan v. State of Assam, Indra Das v. State of Assam and State of Kerala v. Rani. In these judgments, it was held that mere membership of banned association is not sufficient to constitute an offence under Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, that is UAPA, or Terrorist Disruptive Activities Prevention Act, that is TADA, unless it is accompanied with some apparent violence. That is, as per these 2011 judgments, which is overruled now, a person who was a member of a banned association but did not indulge in any kind of violence could not be booked under UAPA or TADA solely on this basis of association. In all these 2011 judgments, a same two-judge bench comprising Justice Markande Karju and Justice Gyan Sudha Mishra had expressed the same view. Mere membership of a banned organization will not make a person criminal unless he resorts to violence or incites people to violence or creates public disorder by violence or incitement to violence. But in 2014, the matter was referred to a larger bench on union government's application. In this application, the union government had sought for reference on the ground that central legislations were interpreted without hearing the union. And as of today, these judgments have been overruled by a three-judge bench comprising Justices M. R. Shah, C. D. Ravi Kumar and Sanjay Karol, while upholding Section 10, Subsection A, Clause 1 of UAPA, which provides that having a membership of an association which is declared unlawful to be an offence, the bench also noted that in 2011, the constitutionality of the provisions were not questioned. Instead, the judgment was delivered while deciding a bail application under TADA, that is Terrorist and Disruptive Activities Prevention Act, filed by someone who was accused of being a member of ULFA. The court further held that in 2011, the bench had made a mistake by relying on the US Supreme Court judgments because as per the Indian constitution, the freedom of speech and freedom of association is subject to reasonable restrictions. That was all for today's video. If you like our content, then do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And for more legal updates, keep watching Live Law.